Hello, welcome to sunny South Florida. My name is Damien and I'm going to be showing you this beautiful boat. It is a 2000 Chaparral 290 and it's powered by a pair of Mercruiser 5 liter 220 horsepower motors. Uh, this boat is equipped with a Bravo 3 drives as well. And uh, basically what we're going to be doing today is just taking you on a quick tour of the boat and then we'll be taking it out for a quick spin and show you how the boat performs. Our service department has done a mechanical inspection on the motors and on the generator itself. Everything has checked out fine. So uh, well, with that said, let's start at the back of the boat and work our way forward. Uh, at the transom we have this nice swim platform with a three-step boarding ladder over on the port side. Okay, Two uh, stern cleats, grab handle for a uh, little more security, security, added security. We also have a ski hook back here as well. Over on the uh, starboard side, we have a transom hot and cold fresh water shower. We have a transom door. And then as I come into the cockpit, first thing you'll notice on the back of the boat is a rear bench seat. This rear bench seat does fold into, let's say, the transom itself, and then you have access down to your motor compartments. Uh, you have your battery switches basically right where my feet are, and you'll see that in the pictures. Uh, the boat does have two cranking batteries and a house battery. Uh, not only does the boat have dual batteries, but it's uh, also equipped with shore power and battery charger. Okay, and you'll see the list of options down at the bottom of the listing. Uh, we have a Kohler generator as well. The boat's equipped with AC. And then it has your galley and marine head and whatnot. We'll show you that in a little bit. Nice radar arch on the outside with a bimini top. The uh, canvas is in good condition, so is the stainless steel on the bimini top. And if I come a little bit forward, we have this nice wraparound lounge seat, okay? And then up to the right-hand side or starboard side of the boat, we do have our captain's chair. At the dash panel, we have a compass located at the middle of the top of the dash. Our instrumentation as far as all our gauges, RPMs, miles per hour, etc. And then we do have a digital depth sounder which is operational on the boat. Boat's equipped with a tilt wheel, remote spotlight, it has trim tabs, and uh, what well, the VHF is not on the boat, you'll see the bracket for that. Uh, windshield wiper, and then you can access the bow of the boat uh, just by climbing up here. You'll see that we have a little bit of non skin, okay? And then we have a front pad all the way forward. Okay, if you want to lounge out up front, you can. And you have access all the way up to the bow pulpit. We'll now take you down below and give you a quick tour of the cabin, and then we'll take you out for a quick spin. Once down below in the cabin, uh, if we come all the way forward, there is a berth with a privacy curtain. And then you have a center hatch for a little more ventilation um, as well and a little bit of lighting. Uh, notice that the vinyl and whatnot, the upholstery is in good condition down below. Obviously, I have this nice dinette here, wraparound seating, and we have this table, but this does become a full berth, okay? So if you want to have a second berth down here, uh, you just drop the table out of the way and you uh, make your berth. Uh, full galley, we have a microwave, one range stove, and a refrigerator on the boat. To the uh, starboard side of the cabin, we do have our complete panel, 12 volt and 110 volt. And as you can see, we also could start our generator from down below, okay? Quick little button. Generator's running, up and running. And then obviously we turn it over to ship's power and now we could run our microwave AC, etc. Off to the left-hand side, we do have our entertainment center, stereo, etc. And then as you come down the steps into the cabin on the right hand side, you have your complete marine head, stand up shower, mirrors, and then as you're coming down the steps to your left, you have your completely enclosed aft cabin sleeper with a little closet sp uh, space and plenty of room to uh, for two people to sleep down there. So that concludes the uh, overview of the cabin on the boat itself. Um, let's fire it up, take it out for a quick spin. Ready to go.